you are an entomologist working in the field, then it may be that someday you will have to end up killing some of the insects that you study. While this is perhaps a controversial issue nowadays, the truth is killing insects is still an intrig integral part of entomology. Uh, there are no modern alternatives to collecting specimens in the field in regards to taxonomy, morphology, data collecting and more. To put it bluntly, to study insects we simply need to kill them. However this video is not he here to debate uh, whether killing insects is right or not. This is going to be a live demonstration. So if you are sensitive to killing, please turn away. Here in my hand I have uh, one specimen of uh, Clanis, a uh, giant hog moth. It's a uh, little bit rarish, but not hard to find in most parts of tropical Asia. And I'm going to inject it with a killing agent, which is, uh, I believe, ethyl acetate. Now, uh, this needle has a safety cap, which should be on and out at all times. But uh, for the killing demonstration, I'm going to take it off. There we go. Now the proper way to finish this off is to take the insect firmly with two hands, as you can see. With the thorax uh, pointed above and then we can inject the insect here in its thorax with a brief shot of ethyl acetate. So I'm going to do it in 3, 2, 1. And it's dead. May have used a little bit too much there, but as you can see, this is pretty much an instant kill. Instantly kills them. So, this is the uh, most humane way to finish them off. Uh, it's almost an instant death. It's very practical to do in the field for a uh, a little bit of ethyl acetate is enough to kill a lot of insects. And last but not least, if you want to keep your specimen fresh, it's important to store it properly. Which in case we use these special entomological uh, papillots, papers. We insert the insect here. And you can store this specimen like this. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, and thanks for watching. My name is Bart Koppens, a traveling entomologist from the Netherlands. Working with moths used to be my hobby, but thanks to my exposure on YouTube and social media, it became my job. Thank you for following my travels in Laos and Cambodia which is part of the video series that you're watching now. This is the outro video, so skip ahead to the next episode if you like. I would just like to remind all of you to like and subscribe and consider joining my crowdfunding platform. Because as, as an independent entomologist, crowdfunding enables me to do independent work on insects and improve my YouTube channel. So if you are willing and able, please consider joining. And otherwise I would like to say thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more insects and moths. Bye.